The Terra Luna Classic community has another update when it comes to the Terra Luna Classic and USTC repeg proposal by Redline Drifter. Now guys, we knew that this was not going to be easy, and it certainly seems like the difficulty is beginning to frustrate the people who are involved with this proposal. But I'm going to be going through and I'm going to be reading the latest update from Redline Drifter about where we stand in terms of communication with the centralized exchanges. We saw some frustration yesterday for the fact that Terra Luna Classic community members might be reaching out to exchanges and potentially pressuring them. I'm going to tell you right now, man, these multi-million, oh no, wait, potentially billion dollar businesses are not getting frustrated by Twitter comments. It's just, it's not the way they operate. You don't become a billion dollar business by getting frustrated with people on social media. So let's discuss this latest update, what it means for Terra Luna Classic, what it means for USTC, and of course, what it means for you. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is getting you $5 in free crypto. If you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff. You've got KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. If you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Guys, we're going to jump right into this and then go over our thoughts on it here. But I do see a lot of frustration beginning because the, the proposers of the proposal might be running into some difficulties that they didn't necessarily foresee. So, Redline Drifter responding to some of the community members. The question is... I think that it's time you address the rumors, or the statement is, I think that it's time you address the rumors that Binance has said no to the repeg proposal. If that's the case, we need to know why they said it so we can move on or adjust the proposal. Enough time has passed now. And look, all these community members are looking for is a little bit of clarity, a little bit of transparency, and there is nothing wrong with that. Redline Drifter responds, there, where we are is exactly as I've said in the update. The exchanges move on their time, not on ours. I think the community assumes that all centralized exchanges love us, but after the huge pressure we put on them under the burn tax, they do not like dealing with us. I've seen anything burn related immediately shot down or ignored. We're going to jump into my, my thoughts here in a second. The fact that they took my proposal and that it was sent to the technical departments for a more independent review shows that they see merit in it and what we are trying to do. One of the bigger centralized exchanges has come back with an infrastructure issue on their end. That's not a no, but it doesn't mean or does mean that they will require them to affect and give her sorry, and it's going to require them to affect the changes to make it compatible. To get them to begin affecting these changes, I think that we need to show them a more thorough proof of concept and indicate exactly how much profit the centralized exchanges stand to gain through implementation. If they stand to make multiples of the implementation cost and we can prove that, then we are in a position to ask them to affect changes. I don't have the experience necessary to give them that level of proof required. This is why I'm proposing the quant team to do just that. Having spent quite a bit of time since the crash investigating USTC for possible solutions and looking at the different repeg proposals put forward, I will say with confidence that no matter what we do with USTC, whether it's my proposal or someone else's, we are going to need centralized exchange assistance. There is such a high percentage of tokens off-chain that any on-chain only repeg efforts will have minimal, minimal or negligible effect. Now, 
Although I do agree with that, there are plenty of paths forward. I am never somebody who believes the, that if your idea is shot down, it's the end of the game. If, if at the first attempt you do not succeed, give up, cry, and go home. That is, that's utter nonsense. And, and that is a victim or a loser's mentality. If you run into a roadblock, if somebody tells you no, but you truly believe in your path forward, which direction do you move? Backwards? Absolutely not. You continue to move forward, you continue to believe in yourself, and you continue to get things done. Now, when it comes to Terra Luna Classic, and when it comes to USTC, here's the thing. I don't think that it's a burn proposal that gets shot down. I don't think that it's the pressure from people on social media that centralized exchanges hate. I think it's the fact that their competition and their competitive edge would be destroyed if they offered a tax and no other centralized exchange did. I don't think that they care at all. All. If we burn 10%, 20%, 30% of Terra Luna Classic, if the tax is 50% of every transaction, I do not think that they care. Here's the thing that they care about. If they implement a 10% tax, and this is nothing that is being proposed right now, 10% is just a number I'm throwing out. If they implement a 10% tax, but their competitor does not, do you think that people who are only interested in trading that coin are going to pay a ridiculously higher fee to trade with them over their competitor? The answer is no. They know that. You know that. Everybody should know that. So they are simply looking for a competitive edge, which is why this proposal or any proposal that relies on a centralized exchange or specifically all of the centralized exchanges, repegging USTC or implementing a burn tax or doing anything with the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, it is not going to be easy. We need every single exchange to be on board or somebody out there will arbitrage all of the opportunity and they will create havoc not only in the cryptocurrency space, but specifically for Terra Luna Classic and USTC. So it doesn't matter if Binance gets on board with this repeg. It doesn't matter if KuCoin gets on board, if Mexi gets on board. It has to be every single exchange that has USTC listed. So, Redline Drifter, I mean, you knew that you had your work cut out for you. The community knows that this is not going to be something simple. And it does not matter if Binance does come back and say, yes, we will implement it. It has to be every single exchange if we expect this plan to work. Now, we can talk about this further in some other videos, but it, it's a very large spend. Guys, this is at a rate of a quarter million dollars a year. And this is not at a rate for, for work to be done. This is at a rate for mathematical theories to be presented to centralized exchanges. The original proposal was for the Terra Luna Classic team here to go to the centralized exchanges and get them on board with implementing. Maybe a hit has changed. Maybe it needs adjusted now. Maybe they want paid to do so. But I don't know any business in the world that you can start where you are guaranteed a quarter million dollar a year paycheck or at least a quarter million dollar a year rate to even prove your concept. So uh, I'm a little skeptical at this point. But nonetheless, I do think that a repeg proposal or I, I guess a repegging of USTC will absolutely be beneficial for Terra Luna Classic. We can discuss it in a further video. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, well, well let's get started on that one. Make sure to click that button down in the right there. If it's still red, guys, subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble. KuCoin and Binance free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.